Hello everybody, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, this is video 5 for my building boats. Spanish Galleon Isabella. Gee guys, after I did the last video of this thing, this thing has really grown. You'll see what I mean once we review the, the build so far. I've been at this thing pretty straight guys. I got a lot of hours logged up in this thing and uh... And what my, my, my goal is for this is get this thing all together. Get, get the hull completely done. Get all the superstructure, all the finish, all the deck fittings, everything all done. And uh, I'll do the rigging later. But I gotta start hopping on some of these airplane builds like I, I want to start doing. So after this video right here, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do an online build on the Airfix Air Victor bomber. And we'll get that shaken down. Right now, like I said, guys, just a couple seconds ago, I've been pretty busy on this Isabella. It's really got me interested, no end. And uh, it was a good call for me to get this kit done because, like I said in the last video, guys, if I let this kit sit idle for another couple more years, time I ever sparked the notion and want to build this thing, before, before my eyes, the thing would disintegrate. The wood would turn into sawdust. And uh, all I have left is a box of fittings. And uh, so it's going to be going to improve quite well, guys. I should have had this thing done by tomorrow. The whole hull completely planked. Uh, I've got it planked the stages right now. Before I proceed any further, I got to go to the starboard side. And tomorrow I'll start on the oh, excuse me, fellas. I'll start on the port side, and uh, I'll get caught up with the uh, with the planking on the uh, starboard side. But I'll go ahead and. Uh, go on the ports on starboard side and finish up the planking on there but before I do that when I finish with the planking I gotta get those decks planked. I got two decks I gotta plank and that's about it. I already ripped me a whole bunch of planks already using that uh, four foot by uh, 36 inch uh, piece of uh, bass one thirty second uh, basswood uh, sheet veneer wood and uh, and I got a lot of planking to do, so I should have this all done tomorrow, guys. And uh, on the instructions, is also on the color brochure, or the not color brochure, I mean the color, the color of the kit. It's actually on the, on the box top. It has uh, two different colors, uh, red and uh, green, I believe. And uh, Mr. Billings on the instruction book calls for green stain and red stain. So I've already got the stains already ready to go mixed by using turpentine. And add a little linseed oil too, a little bit to it also. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, once I get the hull all planked on the upper decking, I'm gonna go ahead and, and stain that. I'll show you that as we swing the camera and take a look at the build thus far. And uh, it's really enjoyable, guys. I was really, you know, I mean, I, since I put polyurethane on this thing, that, that it's it's really spruced up life for the wood because that wood was lifeless and dead and dried out it was and the planks were almost were petrified had a hard time driving those little small itty bitty tree nails that they give you in the kit tell you hit tell you hit a bunk it'll bounce off you when they bend so what I had to do I had to make a couple indentations using a small scratch owl so I could stick the nails in there then drive them home and uh, I got the chance them all done except I got the trim I gotta do on that there's a little more back here I got a lot more a little sanding on the corner we'll show you that when we get to it so this thing is being randomly planked by the hull so it's it's uh, by stages it's going pretty good and uh, once the hull's all planked and stained, then I'm going to start using templates to mark my shutter bays and open them up and put cannons in there. Now, the cannons carriages on these old 15th, 16th century galleons, they didn't have no wheels on them and they had no tackle, that recoil tackle that they used to, to pull up the guns forward up to the bulwarks and slack off on it when you want to trice up your, trice, trice down your, uh, your shutter bays. They were fixed. But they did slide back, the guns themselves slide back because they were lashed down. But the cartridges themselves were affixed to the deck. So they can't slide back there and recoil when they fire the guns. And uh, I couldn't think of life of me. Well, what the hell is a shutter base, this thing? So they give you 
in the kit they give me a bunch of these um, little shutter bays right here. I don't know where it's at here somewhere in here. I think it's hidden right here, I think it is. Nope, I you right there. Anyway, it's somewhere guys. It's on the kit here somewhere. Oh, that's in the rudder post. And, uh, I don't know, I thought it was back there, but didn't have it. Okay, guys, we're going to sit around and take a look at this thing. Enough chatter. There she is so far I got. Yeah, we're going a little closer. So this needs to be planked up from here. From top of this rubby strake, it has to be plank up the hair that's far as it goes. Let's start from here, plank here, and go all the way aft right here. And I've got the poop deck on here. That's why it's dark here. I got polyurethane on here guys. It puts life that wood, makes it back together again. And this is going to be planked. I've got me a, I ripped me a bunch of planks. So I'm going to lay down the planks on top of the poop deck. And also on the cargo deck. That's going to be planked as well. Of course, it's up forward how much I got done on it. Got the trail boards done on it. These are going to be in red stain too. The top of this trim right here, the rubbing strake on here, this will go up this way, and you got little knees that fit on top of this cap rail where the top of the uh, rail will go on that. And they got these little shields they give you too in the kit. And it kind of dresses it nice too. Okay guys, this is the Ford Forecastle. This is the Forecastle superstructure. They call this a Forecastle. With the evolution of shipbuilding, these are more or less those, the true name is, is Forecastle. But during the 19th and 20th century, they changed the forecastle to the forecastle. Now this here forecastle, this portion is going to be painted red. This portion is going to be green. Green stain here, red stain there. And that red stain will follow on top of the rail, on top of the rail tops. to here all the way aft. Now from this rubbing strake here all the way top will be green. And uh, we'll swing a little down. I got the chancel done but, but I still need to put the trim on the back of it. And uh, it's going to be tied in on the other side. This one I was talking a while ago. I got to taste, I take a nice foil board. I'm going to take this and file it real straight so it's nice and smooth right here. Because I just got done joining that right there. That's the trim. The top of here, you got another trim that goes right across here also. And another running stick goes across here also. Oh, the chance there's two windows right here. And here, there's nothing in here. And this plywood's probably about a good eight thick plywood right here. It's just not about a false wall. Give it the effect of the stern. And this right here is sandwiched in. You got the outside here, and this is the veneer part that fits on the plywood part of the transom here. The instructions call for cut those things out. But ain't nothing to look through if I do cut them out. And plus, they're so brittle right there, guys. And dry, remember, this is dry wood. If I dared to go ahead and cut these windows out, this thing would be shot and be split and it would be shot. So, this thing to do is take this thing, cut it out, make a pattern out of cardstock, draw it out, cut it out from there, and glue it on there. That's why I should have done this, but I said, hell with it. I'm going to build this thing right out of the box as it, as it was designed. And it's all wood, it looks nice. So I went ahead, 
and I I pencil in with a grip with a graphite pencil the windows went in there gives the illusion of the windows and I put polyurethane on there glass them up makes them look uh, almost real so don't be afraid to use pencils on here guys of course you can see where it needs to be planked here you got your Spencer mask come up over here you got a Miz mask come up out of here and as we go forward in this area here you have the main mask will come up and the floor mask will be over here now I notice on these galleons right here the cookie way how they did it but it makes sense because that was designed in the evolution of the time of shipbuilding and with the bowsprit area uh, most of the bowsprit they got a bolt right there which the bowsprit is attached to and it's not ask you off center like this right here is now this area here up I planked all this right here and I got me I cut me out two of those little doorways out of the kit and I'm going to do what I'm doing I'm going to take those and I'm going to trace them out on that 132nd scale I'm excuse me guys scale 132nd plywood boxwood plywood that I've got that I use to make strips out for the deck planking on here now I'll get back to the bowsprit of course and this area here where the bowsprit's at there's a hole right next to it so simulating this as a mast this is how it goes. It's, it's crazy. I mean, instead of having it going straight inside, and you get two bolts here, which is called night heads, and they support that. But what they did, they just more or less straddle it. They straddled the, the, the bowsprit until it was even on top of the forward knee, this area here, the knee of the trail boards. And I made two holes here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Right here, this location here. With this pencil sticking. And got one over here too. The other pencil sticking too is a hole there. That's where your gam ring's at. So what you gotta do, you gotta take some take take your your rigging thread and lash around the bell spread here under, underneath the cut water, back up several turns, seize, tie off. And uh, that's to secure uh, that. Of course, you can see I did all the planking here. I took that, that boxwood and I made, I made three thirty seconds of planking on here. And the handrails will, will come up here. And uh, it will go as far as the outline of the whole foxel. And this area here is like a catwalk. They give you a board. Which comes like this, where they, where the, uh, where the personnel can walk from here to the forecastle, inside the forecastle, and uh, it's coming kind of pretty good, guys. I should have this all done tomorrow. I just got to do the starboard side. So, uh, I got to do the start the port side, uh, the port side, and have, plank it up and have it just like on the on the uh, starboard side. Then I can go ahead and uh, plank upward and finish up the planking. But before I do that, I got to uh, plank this deck because if I don't plank it now, once with this, once I got the rest of the planking done, it's get, I'll have no room to plank all the way back to here. At least when it's open back here, I can maneuver the plank and plank it and mark out, cut this out here. This is where the skylight's at. You got a grating here. You got ladders right here come through here it's very interesting uh, uh, sh ship it is guys the Spanish galleons there they're one of the kind they're very nice they are they're a very beautiful little ship they're no bigger than a lot shore fishing boat probably carry about 30 40 men have a slept aboard something like this imagine they had no hammocks back in days. they probably slept on the deck slept on anything that was comfortable and uh, so these are period ships guys I like building these period ships it's the first time I built something like this in many many years I've got a kit in the living room it's, it's, it's a building kit it's a Norsky Love and it's built in a similar fashion as this one was constructed in 
And it's a beautiful piece of furniture, a beautiful looking ship. The stains and everything work good. And the other thing here, all it needs is polyurethane on here. But I will add the red stain here. And the red stain up top of the top of the strake, aft, and over here for the forecastle, and uh, that'd be it. Okay, guys, I'll take the camera back to yours truly. Okay, guys, um, every day I, uh, I try, try to achieve a goal on this thing, and uh, right now my goals are, are working very, very well, and uh, you just keep my back, guys, and rotate this thing around out of harm's way, and push it aside so I can make preparations for the victor. Of course, I'll be out of here anyway and get the bill going. Anyway, get back to this. Uh, uh, these kit, these are nice kits. And um, I really enjoy building these buildings kits. They're very, they're uh, old school design. And once you get a fresh kit, there's no, there's no problem. They go quick, good. Well, the sinks had out too long, guys. You know, I had to sit my for 50 years. Jeez, that's a long time. Anyway, like I said before, on the uh, on the goal I, I'm going to achieve on this thing, I'm going to get this thing, get this hole done by tomorrow. And um, I want to get the hole done. I can go ahead and start working on the. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna start working on the mast steps and the mat and the, the mast and the furniture. Uh, first thing I'm gonna get the mast steps on. I'm gonna get the mast all all secured on the ship here. And uh, I think I'd probably take it that far and shut down for a while and go on to something else. I gotta get that gorge fort going. I'm gonna get that one four ten behind me. Get it shaking. So my goal, this guys, is just get this thing uh, up to the, up to the stage that. I don't have to worry about uh, cutting out parts anymore. Because once they've all been moved and cut out and assembled, I can always put them away in a box inside the box this thing came out of and take this and cover it up and put it somewhere. And I know it's going to be a, another project down the road when I get to it again. But it was good calling for me to get this thing done. I mean, to get this thing, uh, get this thing built. Because, like I say, if I let it any longer than what it was, this thing eventually would fall apart. I, it'd be unbuilt. I could not build a kit. The kit's ruined. And, uh, so that'd be that. Okay, guys, uh, while this thing's uploading, I'm going to prepare my workstation here and get the Airfix 172nd scale Victory Bomber going. We'll make an online build on that, too, right after this series is over with. So, fellas, stay tuned for that. That's shaking up next. And, uh, tomorrow I'll have a video of the Gorge Park, and I'll have that going. And, uh, That'd be that. Okay, guys, it's Frankie Day signing off. We'll catch you guys on the next video, so stay tuned. And uh, God bless you guys. Make Mama happy. Happy modeling. Build on. And uh, hang tight. I'll be back.